my supercar blondie here in Paris, France, and I'm here with Citroën for their latest launch. This is a car that a 14 year old can drive and it's right over here. I wanna show you some of the coolest features of this car. This is an all electric car that literally your 14 year old daughter or son can jump in and take them off to school and come back from school and take themselves off to like sports, after school activities all by themselves in this. God, if I had access to something like this when I was 14, trouble, <laughs> big trouble. No, you'd imagine the kind of independence you would have. That is so, so cool. This door opens here on the back. So you've got one door that opens this way and then like a supercar vibe right here, a suicide door. Look, you've basically got a Rolls Royce. <laughs> okay. All right, so you've got one door that opens this side, one door that opens over there. Now, something else cool to show you, fully electric car. How do you charge it? I was like, where is it? Like, where can you charge this thing? I was looking around, I couldn't see any port right here. And look at this, okay? Some high tech stuff right here. It is what you have hanging onto your hairdryer. A normal plug, this is crazy. You can literally just Plug this into any socket from zero to 100% battery, it'll take you three hours. Within half an hour, you've got 20 kilometers on the clock around that to be able to duck down to the shops and back and you take your phone with you and boom, bada bing, bada bang, you're ready to go. The range on this car is 70 kilometers. If you charge this to full, it takes you three hours to charge to 70 kilometers. And then look, you just kind of shove this back in here. This here is a hypercar element, you guys, okay? This is a weight saving device. So you've got something like this on a Lamborghini Aventador to pull the door down. One of the most popular Citroëns, the Deux Vaux, uh, or the 2CV, which is actually over there. We'll go have a quick look. You see the windows pop up the same way. So that's what they wanted to do. And look, I was trying to get out. I was like, oh my God, I can't get out. Look, this little strap here, you just pull and this pops open. You actually pop your phone in here, just pop that in there and that becomes your center console. So that is really the heart of the car. That's how, you know, you can play your music from your phone, your GPS, etc., etc. You've got a little USB charging port here as well, which is really important. There's a little area here. You see this space here that is actually for your own speaker. So you can bring your own little portable Bluetooth speaker, pop it in the front here, and then you play music from that speaker. Now it's super simple to drive, but unfortunately, this is the only car I've not been allowed to drive, ever. I don't know, I don't know, man. It's probably too powerful, they're a bit scared. So this car has around seven horsepower. I was like, did I read that wrong? Seven? Is that possible? Seven horsepower, it has 5.5 kilowatts on from the batteries right it's limited to 45 kilometers an hour you can get around the city pretty much you don't go faster than 45 kilometers anyway around major cities do you plus it's capped there so that younger people can drive this it's pretty easy to drive but i've been watching the guys drive it today you've just got the drive neutral reverse here and then you've got the um brake the accelerator and you've got a little handbrake down here off you go all right what's also cool about this car you guys is that the designer the person leading the project for this car is a woman and she's here right now kate come on over say hi to the supercar blondie fam this is kate hi. everyone she's actually led the project which is kind of cool <laughs> All right, so surprisingly, the designers don't actually get to drive the car as one of the first people. Um, you've been waiting all day for this I, moment. I have, I've, <laughs> I've been complaining all day that I've never driven, so. And here you are. Okay, this is the very first drive. How does it feel? Amazing. There's a lot of vision, like everywhere you look, you can see. That's not the case with a lot of cars. Like the sunroof, does that come with all of them? Yeah. Okay. The sunroof is fixed, it doesn't open, but. Can you get a starlight roof? What's a starlight roof? <laughs> You get it in a Rolls Royce. <laughs> uh, no, 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 that's, that's going to be an extra option later. Right, right, later down the track, it's fine. We'll get there eventually. All right, let's talk about the coolest stuff. The design features that you were like, I really, really, really want this on the car. Like, it has to be on the car. We really wanted fun stickers. Stickers. Because it means that we can personalize it to the max. So when you buy the car, you get like a sticker book, actually. It's kind of like that. And exactly. then you put them wherever you want. Exactly. 
Really? This one, no, because it's too big. Yeah, right, okay. But this one, you can. This comes in seven different versions, you guys. So you've got the basic model. And then on top of that, they have like all these extra options, right? So you've got the wheel, the hubcaps here, like personalized. You've got roof rack on the roof there. You've got the bumpers at the front and the back. There's lots of different things that you can do. And also it comes with stickers. Who doesn't love stickers? When you get like a pack of bright orange stickers, you can literally stick them anywhere on the car. You can just go, boom, I want stripes here. I want stripes here on the roof. Let me stick them here, wherever you want them. It's yours to play with. So that's kind of a cool element that it doesn't just come like standard. They give you stuff and then you just kind of personalize it as you go. I think there is a market for it. Kids, seeing as 14 year olds can drive it. Imagine if they can take themselves off to after school activities and you don't even have to be there driving them around like a little taxi service like most parents feel like they are. Dead of winter in Paris, it's super cold out there and I see these guys driving scooters around, they're freezing their butts off, okay? Instead of being exposed, right, you can get this car for 6,000 euro. A lot of people are buying scooters around 3,000 euro. So for 6,000 euro, you're actually covered, it's got heating. This being like the size of a car and looking like a car, you're gonna be much more visible on the roads. So it's a lot safer. You can buy it for 6,000 euros or what they've got is a rental scheme, 19.99 euros a month. So you can rent this out on a monthly basis. <laughs> is actually the concept car that came before Ami came out. So obviously this looks a little bit more futuristic. You've got these cool lights here on the front. You've got these cool lights that jut out here on the side. This is the difficulty, right? We're like, oh, why doesn't it look like this? Why didn't it come out looking this futuristic? The issue is you've got to keep the cost down, right? That's the whole point or one of the major points with a car like this, you've got to keep it affordable. So to keep it around 6,000 euros, you can't have all of these fans. But design-wise overall, it does have pretty much the same shape. This is a little bit more bubbly at the front instead of just coming down. Pretty much similar in the, actually you've got more room, I think, in the actual Ami than you do here in the concept car. And then this here is the famous 2CV. They really wanted to keep some of the design language from this car like these windows here, the flip down windows. This car was around for so long, over 40 years, and it pretty much didn't change in style. It's really a massive part of Citroen's history. So there you go, guys. There's the new Ami from Citra. Um, thank you so much for having us down here. Ami actually means friends so let us know what you think of it would you get one yourself or for your kids let us know I just think it's kind of cool that you would have that kind of independence as a 14 year old you know driving around the city that is massive that would have been massive for me back then drop me a comment give me a quick thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the supercar blondie family all right that's it guys we're out we're off to do some Parisian things like stare at the Eiffel Tower Bye.